Welcome to the biology section of our practice MCAT questions. In this video, we're going to be going through questions 71 to 75. So first, I'll show you guys the questions so that you can pause the video and attempt them on your own. Here's question 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. Now let's go through the questions together. In question 71, we're asked which of the following statements regarding capillaries is false. So we're talking about capillaries. Which one is false? Option A is saying capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in the body. No, this is something which is true. It's not false. B is saying their walls are one cell thick. This is also true. Option C is saying capillaries dead end, returning deoxygenated blood to their original arterioles, which lead directly to venules. No. This is something which is incorrect. They don't just dead end. It's not like you have blood leaving the heart, going through different blood vessels, reaching the capillaries, and then stopping, and then coming back, and somehow the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is mixing. That would be way too difficult to separate the two and then be able to reoxygenate the deoxygenated blood. So that is not the type of system, the blood system that we have in our bodies. What happens is you have arteries, which leave the heart. They turn into arterioles. Those then become the capillaries, but then going backwards, we have venules. Then those venules become veins, and then they lead back to the heart. So capillaries do not dead end. This part is incorrect. Therefore, C is the correct answer. It's false. And finally, option D is saying nonpolar molecules such as gases diffuse through capillary walls without special transport mechanisms. Yes, this is true. Because their walls are so thin, gases are able to just freely diffuse, and that makes gas exchange really easy in the lungs. In question 72, it says two different restriction enzymes cut at specific sequence sites on DNA fragments. The cut DNA fragments are then placed with DNA ligase to ligate compatible fragments. Which of four fragments will ligate with the following fragment? So we want DNA ligase to ligate some compatible fragments. So we want something which is complementary to the stand, this strand, and then the two strands will ligate together. So complementary to the T is going to be an A over here, A over here, a T over here, a G with this C, and then this A requires a T. And so the one which matches this is going to be option A. Option A is giving the sequence so the C, T, G, T, A, A, and then that final, this is written in the five prime to three prime, that was why it looks like it's the other direction, but of course we're talking about the complementary strand, and so there would be a final C over here, and then down here, there would be that G, that, that's this G, which was shown over here. So the restriction enzyme cut like this. And so A is a complementary strand. B is incorrect. C, B is in the reverse direction that it should be. C, T, G. C has these similar to the one in option A. However, it doesn't have an additional amino acid sorry, um, nucleotide, where A had a C. There should be another nucleotide over here. Otherwise, the pairing is not going to be correct. Because if you don't have another nucleotide, you're going to get... You're going to get the T over here, G over here, T, A, A. It's going to look like this, and therefore there's going to be a mismatch. And finally, option D is also incorrect. So A is the only one which has a correct nucleotide, as well as having enough nucleotides so that you get a proper matching of the complementary strands rather than having a mismatch. In question 73, it says a heterozygous blue flower is bred with a homozygous recessive white flower. Assuming that the blue gene is dominant, what will be the ratio of the blue to white flowers? So you have a heterozygous flower, and then you have a homozygous recessive flower and we know that blue is dominant. So if we just say B is what we're using in this case to represent the alleles, so we have the heterozygous one mating 
with homozygous recessive, so two small b's. This is a result of the Punnett square that we get. These are the four offspring. It looks like we have a one-to-one -one ratio of heterozygous to homozygous recessive. So these flowers are going to be blue because blue is the dominant gene. And then these two, since they're heterozygous recessive, are going to be white. So we get a one-to-one -one ratio of blue to white flowers. So C is our correct answer. In question 74, we're asked which of the following holds for an individual with type A blood? So which holds, meaning what is true for someone with type A blood? So type A blood means that this person, their blood cells have the A antigen, which means that they cannot, their blood cannot be donated to someone that's type B or someone that's type AB. So option A is saying they can donate to type B. That's incorrect because type B, a person who has this type of blood has antigens for a type B and therefore they have antibodies against every other type. So they're gonna have antibodies against type A blood. And so the, the recipient is not gonna be able to accept this blood. Option B is saying they will likely not have a reaction to type B blood. No, just like type B will have a reaction to their blood. If they receive type B blood, they have antibodies against this, and therefore there's gonna be a reaction. Option C is saying they can receive type O blood. This is correct. So type O blood does not have A or B antigens. Therefore, when type A or B or AB receives this type of blood, they don't have any reaction with their antibodies against this blood that they're receiving. So O is a universal donor, so type A can receive it, that's correct. But, type, but option D is saying they can donate blood to type O, that's incorrect. Type O can only receive also type O. Type O has antibodies against type A and B and also AB, of course, and therefore it cannot receive type A blood. So D is also incorrect. In question 75, we're asked which of the following depicts the correct path of blood through the body from the heart? So correct path of blood, and we're talking about the body. So systemic circulatory system, not the pulmonary one. So if we have roughly the four main chambers of the heart, we have the left atrium and ventricle, and then we have the right atrium and ventricle. When we're talking about blood going to the body, it's going to be in the left atrium, travel to the left ventricles, leave the left ventricles through the aorta, go towards the body, and then come back as deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. So option A is correct. Left ventricle, I guess if we're ignoring it's starting in the left atrium, but from the left, left atrium, it does go to the left ventricle. And then let's say we start there, it's pumped, goes through the aorta, that's correct, and then goes throughout the body and it's collected back in the vena cava, which return it to the right atrium. So option A is correct. Option B, the first two are correct, or the first three are, but then this is saying capillaries after, that's incorrect. It would actually go through the body and after the aorta, it would eventually end up in the capillaries and then the capillaries would come before the vena cava. But this is saying capillaries come after vena cava, that's incorrect. Option C is saying it would start in the aorta then go to the left ventricle. No, that's incorrect. And then D is also incorrect. It's a left ventricle which pumps the blood into the aorta and you cannot switch these two around. That doesn't make sense. That's it for the questions in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to check out our course. The link is in the description below. And in that course, we go through a lot more questions just like this, going through all the different answers and explaining why each one is correct or incorrect. And other than that, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the videos that we post over here. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys.